Hey guys, what's up? This is Meathead Mikel from MeatheadGaming.com and I just wanted to make a real quick video about a uh, group Torment 6 coder run with elites. So this is different from just straight XP runs in the sense that obviously we kill elites. And <clears throat> we kind of switched to doing these because they're more fun, they take a little bit longer, but you know, they're not as mind-numbing as like 20-second games. Nobody needs homing pads. And you know, they're still a very good XP. But the other benefit you get from just straight XP per hour is you get legendaries. So this is kind of like a balance between just XP farming and legendary farming. You know, if you want to kind of break up the monotony of just pure XP per hour grinding, this is kind of the way to go. And you know, there's a couple other things that are really nice about this. Uh, the first is, at the very end, all the enemies are killed. So no one needs homing pads, the host doesn't have to leave, and you're not going to get ejected from the party. See, so we're all still in the same party. Um, so that, that bug or future, whatever that network problem is that happens, is not going to happen on these runs. Now, as far as group composition goes, I think the optimal group is kind of what we have here, which is a pole monk and three Archon Wizards. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Frozen Orb for the trash and then Archon for the elites. And we're going to use the melee attack on the Archon because it does more damage than the ranged. And that ends up burning the elites down super fast. We get legendary drops. We also get pretty good XP. You know, so it's kind of an acceptable trade-off. You don't have to farm this just for XP. And everything else stays the same. I mean, we still follow the same route. Basically nothing changes, except for you know, the fact that we're actually taking on them. So I'm just going to pop in here, melee them down. And I do still have my life still weapon, so that definitely helps a lot. For sustain, but you know, I'm also at almost 2 mil toughness, so it works out pretty well. Except for this run. <laughs> but all the other runs worked out pretty well. For me, anyway. And, you know, in the first uh, couple runs that we did this, we just started doing this. You know, I already got this pig sticker and this Justice Lantern. And we had another player in the group find a legendary as well. So, again, this is a really good balance of finding legendaries and getting XP per hour. And, in my opinion, it's more enjoyable. Uh, personally, I don't mind actually doing this between now and ROS release. So, I'm not going to, you know, keep talking about nothing. So, thanks for watching, guys. This is Meathead Mikel from MeatheadGaming.com. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you soon.